Hello everyone, I'm Tracy and thank you for coming with me today. In this video, I will show you guys some of my tips on how to study English because this is the kind of video many people have asked. Let's talk a little bit about my background. So basically, I am an international student in America and I've been living and studying in the US for 3 years. I am the kind of person who would like to self-study. So in Vietnam, I didn't go to any English teaching center. And before I knew I was going to study abroad, within 3 months I was single-mindedness, give my whole mind to study English at home. So that means I don't have any IELTS degree at all. These are some of my self-study English notebook back then. I left some in Vietnam but I learned English in many ways, like learning vocabulary by topic and through short story. The first thing I would like to do in the morning after I woke up is sometimes playing a good song to push my mood, but most of the time need to open the podcast. These days, I'm so into minimalism lifestyle, so I chose this podcast, Why Minimalism Will Change the World. This is Good Together, the podcast that inspires you to create. Tap on this episode and share Good Together with your friends and family. A simple text message helps us grow. I don't normally make my bed after waking up, but while listening to the podcast and doing my morning routine, I really got motivated to do the things that I rarely have done before, especially in the quarantine season, and started my day. Keep repeating every day, I will form a natural reflex while listening and speaking in English, also creating a habit of thinking in English more when listening to the conversations in the podcast. The second thing I do almost every day is watching YouTube. I follow a lot of foreign YouTubers and watch their vlogs in order to practice listening to English for daily communication. And one YouTuber that I really admire and respect is Hannah Lessis, who gave me a lot of motivation and helps to put me up from an intermediate to advanced English level. For more details, in one video, she recommended a website to test your vocabulary and I followed her to test mine. It is very helpful to check the weight of my vocabulary understanding. So after getting the results and seeing the words that I didn't know, I took my little vocabulary notes to write down all of those words. This is also a very good way to learn the new lessons while entertaining. So challenge yourself and take advantage of YouTube. It's way more helpful than you thought. My next tip in order to study English is writing diary. As you guys can see in my previous videos, I like to write bullet journals and drop some lines of how my day goes. So this is me doing a simple page of journal and I always enjoy writing diary. These are some tips that I suggest for you when start writing diary. Firstly, brainstorm what you are going to write about. Then ask yourself questions and write down your answers. Next, pick a topic. Decide what to write. You can write about food, fashion, travel, sports, work, school, dreams, friends, and family. Don't be hard on yourself while you are writing. Get your creative juices flowing. Just keep writing and finally make it a habit. Or you can make it really simple by being honest to yourself. Like, Dear Diary, Today I ate ramen and two eggs well i can try tomorrow dear diary today i ate ramen again two packs i hate myself hmm maybe tomorrow will be better dear diary today i didn't eat ramen but chicken fried chicken 
Why can't I stay healthy? Ugh. This tip you might see it everywhere, but reading a book really helps. But not just read it, say it out loud. Like you are reading an English paragraph in front of your class when your teacher makes you do it. The party goes on as it does every year. I know I should be helping mom with the puffy with the puffy roll. See, when you read it out loud, you can know which word you don't know how to pronounce it. So you have to search it immediately so you can get it. Procedural. 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 And the more he talks, the more I realize what he's telling me is he has had it. He's done with LA. I have no idea how he can sink so weakly. For my best friend is Tom Cruise. I haven't quite followed his total. Whoa. 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 His total. Whoa. 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 There is no embarrassing here. That's good for you. You can do this alone if you feel awkward, but believe me, this can boost your self confidence. Watching movies is one of the best ways to learn English. I watch Netflix a lot every single day. There is always something for me to watch so I can expose to English frequently. I prefer to watch the movies in English subtitle. In that way, my listening, reading, and comprehension skills have improved day by day. And fries and, and shakes and maybe another order of fries. And I'm gonna text her. Wait, what? I'm posting this on YouTube. Wait, 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 do you think that's a good idea? She might kill us. Oh, I'll let her get a taste of some of the humiliation she put us through. <laughs> I'm with Finn. You guys need to stop being such asses and start being badass. Last but not least, my closing tip for the today's video is open my sleep cycle app. This is the app that can be the alarm, the analyzer for your sleep, and can bring you to this sleep by the sleep aid. Listening to this kind of meditation, you can listen to English without trying, and at the same time relax and fall asleep. I'm gonna take you on a journey now. A guided tour through your own body. Then close your eyes. So that's the end of the video today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.